Thanks for visiting Digital Crack. This is Mario with an overview today of the two latest Kindles on the market. This is the latest 2017 model, and this is the latest uh, 2016 model. Uh, both of them are what they consider it's Kindle Oasis, and there are considered to be the best e-readers on the market basically so here's the till I originally got this one first and I got this case along with this case here and um, I like this origami case uh, that I added to it uh, I originally had the black case but wanted something that I could you know use to prop the unit up on so I got this um, so both cases are really nice. Um, they form fit in the Kindle very, very nicely. Um, you basically, with the new 2017 model, you have a USB connector and a power button only. Um, it has a sleep wake feature, it has the uh, stand, oops, origami stand to stand the unit up on um, it has the magnet magnetic back that you can actually um, attach that will make it comfortable to hold and so this is the uh, on-screen display uh, what you'll see when you first open up your Kindle um, the advantages that it has is that this is more of a surface um, all the screen itself is level with the casing. Uh, you don't have any um, rise or fall of the of the of the screen itself, and um, that helps with the um, I guess the the virtual look of it and the the words and graphics stand off on the page a little bit better because of that. Um, then. The 2017 model is actually identical to that, uh, at least with the new update. Uh, you do have this same layout even with the old um, firmware, but uh, there is a new firmware that was added to the 2016 that basically mimics uh, the 2017 model, which is where the dilemma came in from. So I basically bought this one for my wife and I bought this one for myself, or gave her the choice of which one she wanted and she she said that if she was going to take one it would be this one but she doesn't actually want an e-reader now she wants to stick with her tablet so I have to return one of these and I was trying to debate on which one to actually return and here came the problem this unit here is a bigger screen you can tell Let's see if I can um, open up the same book and you can look at the words um, this has a bigger screen definitely um, this has a smaller screen and this is waterproof and had the audible um, options for it and originally this unit right here didn't have audible options because it didn't have Bluetooth or any you know um, port that you can plug up your headphones to so this really stood out as an advantage kind of um, another thing that it had that this originally did not have is they had the option for bold um, and that makes a difference in the lettering that you're reading from um, the size is one thing and the fonts are another thing but to be able to add a, a level of boldness to the to the words actually helps your eyes read better so um, this is one of the reasons why I was really, you know, um, attached to to this one and thought that this one would be the better unit. Um, even though I was willing to give this to my wife and take this one, I I preferred this one that I that I knew of at the time. But something happened. Two things happened actually. One, this thing has an up had gotten an update. Originally, this this comes in out the box at a five point eight. Um, update firmware update but there's a 5.9 update that's available and it's only available guys online so that means if you get this unit and just check for an update like I'm gonna do right now even though I've already done that 
um, you'll go to, to the settings and you go right here. You'll see the update is grayed out. That's how it would be when you update your Kindle out the box. It's going to go to a 5.8 update for the, for the Kindle Oasis 1. It's going to go there. And you will have no access to, this, to all these features that this one has. You will be missing um, uh, Audible definitely. You will be missing Boldness. You will be missing... Um, let's see what else. I think... Um, I think that's about it the bonus audible yeah and so that uh, was a was a shock to me when I found out that there was an update for this that wasn't connected to the Kindle itself you had to download it and physically plug up your Kindle to your computer and force over the update and once you did the update guys what you got was the same options now all of a sudden now you have the options for bold you have you know the size um, layout just like in this one they mimic each other perfectly well that's a problem guys because I thought that this was supposed to have the advantage over this and now you've taken away you know now this unit has lost the um, I guess the, the look of the wording for the for the reading originally before I downloaded this update when I would read from this because I couldn't bold the letters and they were very thin this is how thin they were com compared to this you know you're reading same book and you're seeing this compared to that this immediately relaxes your eyes when you're looking at it um, because the letters are bold and they're they're a lot easier to to, to focal focus on at least in my opinion here the the letters are uh, the lines are very thin and your eyes don't focus as well as it is as they do um, with this one so having this option here to bold the lettering and match it with this meant a lot I mean especially for my reading now the other connection thing well we know that this has the audible right and so I was like okay well when I looked online I saw some people had that option and I didn't I started to question whether or not I had the right unit but I was like well it doesn't matter because this has audible and you can't even if you even if you update uh, firmware you can't install hardware inside of a inside of a unit right you can't install something that, that doesn't exist like in other words if my computer has um, Wi-Fi capabilities uh, built into the motherboard it has Wi-Fi capabilities built in the motherboard it doesn't matter how many times I update my Windows firmware it's not going to automatically produce a hardware well the problem is guys that this unit actually always had the ability to Bluetooth obviously because the update now has the ability to Bluetooth your 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 books. This is grayed out right now because this particular book isn't uh, an I haven't purchased the Audible uh, portion for that book. But you see here, you now have the Bluetooth icon. Now, how in the world can you have a Bluetooth icon out of a firmware? You either have Bluetooth capabilities into this thing or you don't. At least to my knowledge. Now, somebody else can out can explain to me how in the world something designed not to have Bluetooth can have it out of, out of a software update it I, I don't know I mean I, I don't understand it maybe you know again maybe this is beyond my my understanding about things but that blew me away now all of a sudden now you've taken away the audio feature for it you've taken away the the visual features for it now what is left I'm like okay well Bottom line, these are the same almost, right? I'm like, okay, well, at least I have a bigger screen now. I, that's still left over. That's a good thing. You can't you can't deny the fact that this is a bigger screen. However, with the bigger screen comes more weight. And with the more weight and the bigger screen, I noticed one thing that was affected that dramatically made a difference in these categories, and that is the battery life. The battery life is dramatically lower on this unit compared to this. And I, I thought it was just my my particular unit, 
you know, I thought it was, you know, maybe something I wasn't doing right or whatever, but uh, I've come to find out that it is not just my unit, that it is something that is common with this unit because it, it has a bigger screen and more LEDs. The battery drains uh, on this um, are a lot, a lot quicker battery drainage um, as opposed to this one. So now you have a smaller unit, same size fonts, basically, um, bold fonts. You have better battery life and you have audiobooks put on this unit. Now we have a completely different ball game. Now we have an issue where we have to make a decision now on something here that is the latest and greatest, but because of a firmware update, you basically, I don't understand that about Kindle. Why do they do that? I think, uh, you know, I'm grateful that they did that for this unit, uh, but I don't understand why they would eliminate all of the advantages that they have with this, knowing that they had, you know, a uh, lower battery life on this one as opposed to this. Now, the thing that I think still stands out on this is the fact that you still have um, a quicker a quicker response time, a quicker, you know, um, reaction time as far as the things that you do. So let's say, for instance, this book and this book, let's type up on them. They both have audio um, and, uh, e, you know, the reading capability. So we're going to hit them both at the same time, and you'll see what the difference is in the processing speed. So uh, that was almost the same. So we'll go back, go back home. And that's the difference. We'll try something else. Let's go. Let's go to the library together. That one's a little bit quicker there. Um, let's see if we can find the same book. Yeah, right here. Name of the Wind. And that came up a little faster. Most recent page. All right. So this, that is the difference, guys, in the processing speed time that one so as you can tell they they go back and forth sometimes this is faster sometimes this is faster overall i believe that this still creates a consistently faster um i guess experience but when i say faster i mean maybe a couple of milliseconds faster where one hits and then the other it's like ta ta maybe <laughs> i don't I don't know if it's that big of a difference that it matters. Um, and with this having a better, a better battery life, more pocketable, you know, I know certain people say they don't like um, the fact that most of the battery is built into the, the case, um, and that's the difference between the two. Um, this one has a case battery, where these prongs here connect to the back of the unit here. And it provides and basically like an external battery uh, option that basically continues to charge this thing throughout the day. Um, and that's something that, you know, may be a preference to some people that they don't like that type of thing. I myself, I hate using this thing without a case. I, I don't like I don't like using something like that, like like that's supposed to mimic a book um, without a case because it. It def to me, for me, it defeats the purpose of it being an uh, e-reader. For me, an e-reader should feel like a book and act like a book, opening up like a book, you know. Um, I like that aspect. I actually, even without this, um, having an external battery case, I never use this thing without a, you know, without a case on it. So um, the complaint about the case being needed for this unit uh, it's battery life to really be, you know, substantial. Uh, all of that is irrelevant to me because I never go anywhere without the case on the Kindle. I, I don't like using the Kindle uh, without the case. Uh, certain people do, certain people don't. I'm just one of those who do not do that. So um, that is it. I'm, I, I'm leaning more toward this um, as far as uh, my Kindle of choice, uh, but, you know, all that may change. Uh, but I'll be doing some more testing on it as we go. But those are my thoughts so far, guys. Um, you can definitely uh, 
hopefully use some of my um, comments and maybe help steer you in the right direction. I think this is still available. A uh, cool option that I think that they have on this one still is that you can just pay, you know, like $50 a month until it's paid off. Amazon will pay you, you know, will will basically charge your car $50 every month until this is paid off. This is more expensive. Uh, I will say that then this this is at 249 but it does not come with a case so it really isn't if you think about it in that term it really isn't a um, better buy it just comes without a case and then you have to turn around and buy a case now if you're like me you can do a third party case um, for like nine dollars or so like I did and save a little bit little bit of money um, but um, having a case come with the unit you don't have to buy a second uh, you know a second sale later and that may you know affect your your purchase decisions as well because everything comes with the box in the box the case the unit everything you don't have to worry about buying anything else and with this case having a charging battery inside of it you can kind of justify the extra forty dollars I believe this is more expensive than this is this is like 279 this is like 239 so um, take that however you will um, and hopefully that will help you with your purchase decisions thank you uh, for visiting digital crack this is Mario signing out